In this video, we'll be making homemade beef jerky in the oven. And by we, I mean only me. I've been quarantined, so I'm at the house by myself, and um, but I have some roast, so let's make jerky. One cup of Worcestershire sauce, three fourths of a cup of tamari soy sauce, two teaspoons of fresh cracked black pepper, a nice pinch, of Old Bay seasoning, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, a half of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, the zest of two oranges, one teaspoon of liquid smoke, this is an all natural hickory, two tablespoons of fresh espresso. Yeah, that might not be a little traditional, but for me, it feels traditional. Two tablespoons of ginger powder, one teaspoon of coarse salt, and one teaspoon of ancho chili powder. Just whisk all this together to combine. And last, but absolutely not least, two tablespoons of honey. And this is just organic honey. And kind of meld out the, uh, or mild out, should I say, the uh, espresso shot that we have going in there. Not that I like to tone those down. I think those, uh, the more amperage, the better. Want to give you guys a heads up. After I whisked everything together, my little noodle started going, Woo! So I'm kind of hijacking this recipe. It's We're still gonna make jerky and you're still gonna do everything we've done so far. But I broke up my Vitamix and some other ingredients and uh, let's get back in the kitchen. All right, so uh, we have two more shots of espresso. One goes in the recipe, the other one uh, goes to the cook. And here is our blend from uh, earlier. Half of a bunch of Italian flat leaf parsley, half of a bunch of cilantro, four cloves of garlic, finely minced. This is uh, one cup of finely diced red bell pepper. And then the juice of one orange. <laughs> We'll set this aside while we get our meat ready. Okay, this is a uh, four pound eye of round roast and I had it flash frozen. That's why you see the, uh, the white frost on there. And so first I will cut this in half like such. Now before we can slice this for jerky, we have to remove any of the uh, excess fat. And while you're removing the fat, you can also um, straighten it out some if you want it to be more squared off, if you see some ugly spots or anything like that. Now all we have to do is place all of our strips into the marinade. Make sure then, um, that they are not stuck together. Just want to work it all in here. We'll seal this bad boy up and put it in the fridge until tomorrow. 24 hours of marinade, and we are ready. Once you have all of your strips laid out just like this, just pat them dry with some paper towels. And we're ready for a 175 degree preheated oven. All right. One sixty is okie dokie. And there you have it. It's just that simple. I really truly hope that you'll give this recipe a try. Definitely try it if you have kids and try it with the kids. They'll love it, I can promise you that. Thank you for watching.